am I afraid of? Spiders? Lizards? Snakes? Monsters in general? Or perhaps the skeleton hiding in my closet? Well, not really. Pain? Torture? Bullies? Not that either. But everyone has a fear, right? Rational or irrational, it doesn't matter. Everyone has at least one thing that they're afraid of. What am I afraid of? My name is Rachel from Zhonghua Secondary School. Today, I will talk about my biggest fear. For me, it is something even bigger than any living being. Perhaps not literally. It's more than just a simple feeling or phenomenon. <sighs> Here goes. I'm afraid that we, as humans, would get to a point where we get so complacent that we forget where we came from. This has proven to bring out dire consequences. No, I'm not talking about where we were born, whether it was at home, in Chajukang, or somewhere as far as Canada, Russia even, north, south, east or west in this earth that we live in. I'm asking, where or what are our roots? Some people say God created human beings. Followers of Charles Darwin would say we come by evolution. However, we started off, human beings have, throughout thousands of years, learned to adapt to their ever-changing environment. Yet somewhere along these lines, we lost it. We don't seem to be heading towards our promised land anymore. In fact, we are slowly leading ourselves to self-destruction. We have become increasingly selfish, taking things for granted. The way most of us use and process paper, plastics, styrofoam, non-biodegradable materials is appalling. We are slowly destroying our home. I'm afraid to imagine what comes next. One good example would be what's happening in the world right now. Global warming, deforestation, natural, natural disasters brought about by climate changes. The rate of temperature increase has nearly doubled in the last 50 years. The polar ice cap as a whole is shrinking at 9% each decade. As the polar ice cap melts, ocean levels would rise. Sea levels are rising, rising on an average of 12 inches per year worldwide. Floods would directly impact continents such as Asia, Europe, Oceania. The increased amount of carbon dioxide in the air would also be absorbed into the oceans and thus increases the acidity of seawater. The increased acidity of oceans may dissolve the shells of many, many marine organisms. We may continually ask, what can we do about it? But if we don't change the way we waste materials, we are one step closer to self-mutilation. Well, there's war too, one wave after another. There's no time to rest once unrest begins. There's I'm afraid of the suffering that follows. Why can't people rationalize and let go of the blind hate they have for people of a different skin color, religion or neighborhood? Why do they allow stereotypes to dictate the way we view certain groups of people? Are we not all human beings in this earth we call home? I'm sure we are all familiar with the term of hate crimes and mass shootings. In the year 2014, there are 283 mass shootings in America alone. We are truly inhabitants of a mad world, something much crazier than what our ancestors would have envisioned. It's hard to understand, and very few, few people actually understand what's going on. Because of indifference and apathy, many think that there is no real danger. They don't see people dying, so they don't do anything about it. And those who do try, well, there are too few of them. I'm afraid that one day, we would be living in the damage, destruction and chaos that we ourselves have caused. But I don't want to be afraid. I don't want to face my biggest fear. I want to live in a world where that fear is non-existent. Therefore, we need to do something about it. One way to reverse the impact of global warming is to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Greenhouse gases, which include water vapour and carbon dioxide, absorb heat in the lower atmosphere and reflect it back to Earth. Reducing, reducing greenhouse gases and planting trees could help slow and eventually reverse global warming trends. We can ride a bike or take public transport instead of driving our own cars. We can plant trees, save water. These actions may seem small, but it does make a big difference. As I end my speech, I wish you would have taken, at le taken away at least one thing. We are the ones who have brought about this global destruction, so we are the only ones who can stop this. I hope my children never live to see Earth in extreme turmoil.
Thank you for your kind attention.